I went through a traumatizing experience. Um, for me, it was a sex crime and went through the following hearings and, and trial and I was kind of left with the damages um, of everything that had happened. And I slowly withdrew and I was in the bed uh, days and days in at the time. Up until then I had been, you know, fairly normal, productive um, citizen. I was PTO president, um, did administration at a nursing home. So I went from a woman um, who didn't know anything about drugs to just trashed out in like a very short amount of time. And um, went and got the help that I needed, um, went to rehab and did well afterwards. Um, had one relapse, which had made me very suicidal. I'm type 1 diabetic, and I take four to six shots a day, been on an insulin pump, and I was just wanting my family to leave me alone at the time. I had told them I was going to stop taking my shots, which to me isn't a big deal. You know, I deal with the shots all day, every day. I was just being dramatic, I guess, and uh, here come the cops, and ended up they had gotten a court order for me to, you know, go back to a psych hospital. They came in through this door right here, handcuffed me on my wrist, put shackles on my feet, and I literally, like, walked like this, um, you know, out of my house for my neighbors to see. Um, just self-embarrassing for me. You know, you got somebody who's trying to hurt themselves, and um, then you add shame onto it, uh, you're making the situation worse, you're not making it better. If I wasn't suicidal before I went to the psych hospital, I was afterwards. Very suicidal and I could not tell anybody and I would not tell anybody. I came from the hospital an hour and a half away. I was handcuffed and shackled there. Um, from the psych hospital where I was medicated, I was not a, a danger to myself or to others, or they would not have released me. You get out of the car and you've got your handcuffs on, you've got the shackles on, you can only move. You know, it's embarrassing. My friends are here, it's a small town. The nursing home I had worked for for years uh, was just on the other side of that building. You know, hundreds of people I had worked with. It was at lunchtime um, when everybody's at the different shops and um, diners getting their lunch and the stigma, the embarrassment, um, it stuck with me a long time. When you're dealing with mental health and you're dealing with depression, you know, you're dealing with thoughts in your mind and when you're handcuffed and shackled and you're put through the shame, it makes Getting through those negative thoughts in your head is very difficult. It makes you want to go in the opposite direction and, and be even more suicidal and be even more depressed. So, you know, you're, you think you're doing a good thing hospitalizing someone, but then when you're transporting them without compassion, it makes all that, um, you did it for no reason. Now, I don't know that I ever have gotten over uh, the stigma or, or what that creates because every time I ride through the square, ride around the square, um, I think about it whether I want to or not. Words, actions, um, the small things that you do, the way that you're treating people, uh, they can have a big impact, especially in, on mental health. Something very, may have seemed very small to you, made a very big impact on my life, it impeded my recovery and it just wasn't necessary.